YouTube channel. This is Aiden speaking. Career day is coming up pretty soon and William Floyd Technology Club wanted to interview careers that interest us. So please welcome Ms. Myers. I love this future journalist in the making. <laughs> How does it feel when you watch yourself on TV? All right. How does it feel when I watch myself on TV? I try not to watch it back because it's just my job. So every day I go in and do the same thing. But um, what I enjoy is I have family members or community members who will recognize me or my parents will give me a text that they're watching and enjoy the show. So that's what's so fulfilling for me. I feel like with this job as a news anchor, you have to do it more than just wanting to be on TV. So why I do it is I love to help the community and connect with so many people um, in Lynchburg, Virginia. So I'm about 10 hours from you guys. I'm pretty far. What time do you have to be at work in the morning? All right, this is crazy, but I get to work at 3.30 in the morning. Isn't that wild? <laughs> yeah, look at that face. Look at that face. That's my face when my morning alarm goes off every day. It's very early, but on the What'd you say? I want to go back to sleep then. I know. It's really, yeah. It's definitely an adjustment. But on the bright side, I get home at like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So when it's sunny out, like today, where I'm in, in Virginia, I'm able to go out and enjoy myself. So you have to go to bed early, definitely. But uh, it, it's worth it in the end. Why did you become a news reporter? So I became a news reporter. Um, I've kind of wanted to do it ever since. How old are you guys? Nine. Eight and ten. Nine? I'm ten. And ten. Okay, so I'd say when I was around nine or ten, I probably always just wanted to be a news reporter. I, you can ask Miss Carol if you know her. She can attest it was quite the chatterbox growing up. Um, but I always loved looking into the latest E! News, which was on TV at the time or News 12, I'm sure many of your parents watch. I was always into watching that with my family. And um, I just got into it. And once I got bit by the news reporter bug, it was just my goal through college um, to do that. And here we are, we're two, two years in now. What is a difference between a news anchor and a news reporter? All right, well, well Ethan, Ethan you guys, guys look like news anchors right now because you're sitting at a desk, you have your questions in front of you and the green screen behind you. So that's what I do every day. But in order to get to being a news anchor, you have to start as a news reporter. So that's what I started out as two years ago. Sometimes you have to move far away from home to get your foot in the door, but the goal ultimately is to get back home. But new news reporters, they're the ones who get a different assignment every single day, whether it's a sad or scary story about crime in the community or a happy story about a fun event that's going on. Um, different reporters will be sent out with their fake camera and they have a little device, it's called a live view and they plug that into the camera so they're able to stream to your TVs what's happening. So reporters have different daily tasks and different stories each day where the anchors do more managing of the reporters. So reporters come to me um, for a few of the newscasts and I'll look over their scripts and make sure that they're ready to go and factual and um, all good for the newscast. So that is the difference between news anchor and news reporter. How old do you have to be to become a news reporter? Let's see, definitely older than 10 years old. So you guys got a few years if you want to be a, a news reporter. But um, actually after college, bless you. Um, after college, so probably like 22 years old, you can start as a news reporter. And then obviously you have to work your way up and put your time in as you have to do with anything like sports or school or different school subjects. You always have to put that extra time in and work really hard in order to become a news anchor. Do you have to go to college to become a news anchor? I would say definitely you should go to college just to get that background knowledge of how you should um, present yourself on TV, what questions you should ask, how you should act in certain situations, and it really prepares you for the workplace. So I would definitely say that my college education helped me get to my job today for sure. What's the favorite part of your job? 
The favorite part of my job, let's see. Um, I guess it's connecting with so many different people, like you guys, which is so fun and great and different in my, my Monday. But where I'm from in the city here in Lynchburg, um, there's a lot of people I get to connect with. I get to meet so many unique people that I don't typically get to. And something that I also love is like, every day you have to become an expert at some topic. So whether you're on crime for the day or whether you're on a happy, someone's 100th birthday for the day, you get to be an expert on that one topic. Um, and by the end of the day, you definitely feel fulfilled. You learn a lot each day. So that's what I've uh, really enjoyed is just each day is a new, fresh start. And by the end of it, you're exhausted, but you've learned something new, which is important always. Do you get to interview? interview people like us i think you guys are interviewing me right now which is awesome um i do get to interview people i get to interview people of all ages we've even interviewed a few mommies with some new babies on leap day which was that last week um so people of all types and ages we we get to talk to depending on the story and that's also what i so love about this news industry is there's um, no right or wrong way. I mean, there's so many different things to cover each day. You never know. One day you could be on, um, I guess one day you could be on, like I said, a, a birthday or a uh, community event. And then there could be breaking news and uh, some some bad news, we'll call it, happen. And your day switches like this at a snap of a finger. So you always got to be ready for anything. And um, it keeps you on your toes for sure. But it's a great industry to be in. What did he say? How did you how do you change your voice to talk like a reporter? Everyone always asks this question and I don't know, you just get used to it. Um I guess it sounds it sounds normal to me, but I'm surrounded by news reporters and news anchors all day. What what is tough though is being from Long Island, where all of you are from as well, um, I have quite the Long Island accent. So I was saying dog and coffee, which sounds normal to you guys, but when you're down south right now, they say a lot of y'all. So um, I had to actually take classes in order to get my New York accent um, to simmer it down a little bit. So we've gotten there. So it did take a few months to get there, but um, you just get used to it like anything. It's repetition, it takes time. And um, now I think I, I've mastered it. <laughs> Do you practice your lives before going on air? Yes. So how my day works is I get in at 3.30, like I told you guys, super early. It's crazy. And um, so we get in, we have two hours of news scripts to read through. So I read through them all if I have to make some changes or type up a few things. So typically I'll do that for like an hour and 10 minutes or so. And then I'll get ready really quick. So I'll do my hair really quick and put some makeup on really quick and use a lot of hairspray in like 15 minutes and then I usually run to the studio. So we have a show at 5 a.m. So I have to be in there at 4.50, which I'm sure Aiden and Ethan, you guys are like sound asleep at 4.50 in the morning, right? Yeah, so our days are a little different. But um, I always run in there really quick just because, you know, time is, time is a factor for sure. And um, from 5 to 7.30, we have a morning newscast. It's called Good Morning Virginia. So I'm sure your parents watch News 12 in the morning. So it's similar to that, Good Morning Virginia, for two and a half hours or so. And then I produce, so I'm going to write up um, the half hour newscast we have at noon. So um, a little bit of writing, a little bit of anchoring, um, but a day is busy for sure. Do you like coffee? Everyone says that, and what's so crazy is there's me, my co-anchor, and a meteorologist in the morning, and none of us drink coffee. Isn't that wild? That is crazy. crazy. <laughs> but don't you have to wake up at like three? I know, it's just, I, I do it. You know, I'm a soda girl. Do you guys like soda? What's your favorite? Pepsi. Pepsi. Pepsi, I'm a Dr. Pepper gal. So sometimes I'll do that, and there's nothing like a Dr. Pepper at 4 a.m. I'll say it loud and proud. <laughs> joining us today that that concludes our interview with miss meyer please like and subscribe to our school's youtube channel for more interviews